Dad, how do geothermal power plants actually work? Are they just steam engines stuck in the ground? That's not too far off, Steve. They harness the Earth's internal heat, usually from hot rock reservoirs a few kilometers underground, to drive turbines and generate electricity. It's a way of tapping into Earth's natural thermal energy. So it's just heat turning water into steam? Exactly. But there are three main types of geothermal plants, dry steam, flash steam, and binary cycle. Each one suits different temperature and resource conditions. What's dry steam? That's the oldest type. Superheated steam comes straight out of the ground and spins a turbine directly. No need for extra boilers. It only works in rare locations where underground steam is naturally available, like geysers in California. And flash steam. In flash steam systems, hot water under high pressure is pumped to the surface. As pressure drops, some of it flashes into steam, which is then used to power turbines. The leftover water is re-injected back into the reservoir to sustain the system. What about binary cycle? That's used for lower temperature geothermal sources. Instead of using water to spin the turbine, the hot fluid heats a secondary fluid, like isobutane, in a heat exchanger. That fluid vaporizes and spins the turbine. No geothermal fluid ever touches the turbine directly. Like an indirect system? Yep. The working fluid has a lower boiling point, so it turns to vapor even at 100 to 170 degrees Celsius. It's perfect for areas with moderate geothermal gradients and still delivers clean energy. What kind of thermodynamic cycle is this? Binary plants typically use a Rankine or organic Rankine cycle. It's a closed loop, heat in, electricity out, fluid recirculated. The organic version just uses a refrigerant-like working fluid instead of water. And this all runs 24-7? That's the beauty of geothermal. It's a baseload energy source with nearly zero emissions. As long as the Earth stays hot, it keeps generating. No sun, wind, or fuel required.